Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dennis Speltz. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. So in the video you're about to watch today, it's something I've been trying to make for such a long time now, ever since I had the idea of making my own handcrafted fishing lures. And this will be the test. It will be a make it or break it. They're either gonna work great or they're not gonna work at all. But the way I've made them, the amount of time put into it, I got high hopes. I think they're gonna produce. And if you're seeing the video, then they produce. That's all I gotta say. But I have some right behind me here, all different kinds of colors. We've got the nice black and golden blade on there. We got some rainbow colors. Some cool ones, I'll let some other people pick the colors for, black, white, and blue. All different kinds of colors, and we're gonna be using them, switching between, see which one works the best, but I put a lot of time into these, and uh, we're gonna hope they produce. If they do, who knows? I'm gonna start selling them to places like local bait shops, stuff like that. And who knows where it's gonna go from there. But uh, before I start the video, I just wanna say one thing. I've hidden the name of a fish. It could be any fish. It could be trout, bass, pike, perch, you name it. I've hidden the name of a single fish somewhere in this video. You watch the whole video, you find that name of the fish, comment that below, and you're getting a shout out in the next video. That's all I gotta say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go catch some trout. Just barely there he is. There we go. Look at that, guys. First freaking cast. Hooked up and everything. That's what I like to see. You know what? I'm gonna grab my hook mover. Awesome. Let's get a release on him, guys. Beautiful. This is very unlikely, but let's see if we can get a second fish out of the same hole. You know it's a good lure if you can do that. With trout, doesn't usually happen. Trout are a very particular fish. Oh my gosh, that guy just missed it. He came up and tried to hit it. Well, that's a good sign. Alright, I think we can get something out of this hole. If I be extra quiet, get a nice cast, let's see if something wants to smack this lure. Really? I bet there's some fish in here. I'm just thinking there's got to be something in here. Oh, there we go. There he is. Came out and destroyed it. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Loving it right now. These fish are going absolutely crazy. Beautiful. Missed it the first time, hit it the second one. That's what I like to see. Alright. Came out of that super small hole. That's awesome. There he goes. See him right there? There he is. And I'm only been fishing for what, 15 minutes? And I'm already just ecstatic about how these lures have turned out. Here's the packaging I got for them here. If I decide to sell them, I know I did kind of think ahead a little bit, but I can easily get these into some bait shops and stuff in my local area. Typhoon Lures, www.youtube.com slash NA Spell, handcrafted fishing lures, you know. And then on the back, we got logo if you have any questions, some pictures I've caught with them. You know, I just, I've caught two fish with them already, but I can just tell you, they work so, so well. And I'm gonna be making these, I'm not looking to actually make really any money off this. Like, I just wanna make enough money so I can keep making these. But my main priority with these lures is just to have parents and their kids, adults, kids, you know, whatever it is, I, you know, the average for a spinner nowadays, like what, four or five dollars? Maps, Panther Martin, Vibrex, all these. I want to make a, a spinner that is super cheap, that people can not have to spend a ton of money on. Like, honestly, I've been spending too much on Panther Martins. They're great, I love them. But you know what I'm going to say? I These are going to be around 225 to 250 if you want to buy one in stores or something like that. I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to try to talk it out. I'm gonna make it as low, where, as low as I can where you guys have a cheap option of pricing and I don't really have to make anything off of this. I'm just looking to help the you know fishing community, allow people to buy spinners that work for extremely cheap and that's exactly what these are. Okay, this looks like a good hole here. Let's see if we can get a nice cast in there. Really? Surprised nothing. Nice fighter. He's definitely not giving up. Way. Beautiful fish. 
fish. Remember guys, always keep your hands wet. I dip mine in the water off and on just to make sure I don't get these slime off of these trout. Let's get them back in the water as fast as we can. Just like that and not even out for 30 seconds. All right guys, it is coming to the end of the video. We started fishing today at 645. It is 728, it's almost been 45 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love making trout videos. This is my favorite kind of fishing. Trout is just, some people don't like it. Most people I fish with just don't enjoy trout fishing, but I just absolutely love it. It's just so much fun, especially on light tackle. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. It wasn't even really a challenge. It wasn't a, a homemade lure challenge. It was more of just a test and trials. I wanna know, is this lure good enough for other people to use? And if I caught fish on it, you guys can definitely catch some fish on it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Look forward to more. I got about a quarter of a mile walk left to do. So I gotta get back and uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.